Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Simple Car Guy channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you five things that you didn't know about your BMW Z4 E89. First thing you might not know about your BMW Z4 is that in comfort or even sport mode, you can't rev past 3000 RPM. There's a rev limiter. Uh, so if you want to do a burnout or anything like that, it's not going to let you. The only way you can do so is if you turn off the traction control completely and put it in Sport Plus. Let me show you. So I'm in comfort mode right now. Let's rev it. That's it. It doesn't let me rev, rev past about three, three and a half thousand. So we're going to switch to Sport Plus and then hold the traction or DC, uh, DCS off for a few seconds until it shows up on the screen. Okay. Now let's rev revving now. Oh, look at that. So now you can rev up to three, four, whatever thousand RPM that you like. Dump the clutch, you can do a burnout or you know anything else that you want to do with your revs. Are you ever just driving around and that stupid two up or three up or something is telling you to change up gears even though you're trying to stay in the power band well you can turn that off so you don't have to just ignore it you can actually turn it off let me pull over and show you how all you have to do to remove the gear suggestions is go to an empty spot uh, on your cluster so just pressing BC once you're in an empty one press and hold and as you can see that little icon disappeared so now when you're driving accelerating you want to hold the gear it's no longer going to tell you to shift up or shift down and of course if your car is not showing you that it's time to change gear and you're just learning you do, you'd like to see that you just get to the empty spot on your uh, dashboard and then press and hold bc the same way and there you go it shows up have you ever felt like your bmw z4 doesn't have enough power plugs it only has that one in the center console and you want to plug in your phone but also want to put a camera or something well you're in luck if you go all the way down in the passenger foot wall there's another power a power plug socket right under there super useful if you want to route uh, a wire through here up through there and to your camera or a, you know a scanner or something whatever you want uh, awesome little unknown uh, thing on these cars have you ever wondered what this clip on the seat belt is for well, this is actually for when you buckle up, right? Let me make sure you guys can see, right? Now I'm in the perfect length for my seat belt. You move this down all the way to your buckle. So when you unbuckle next time, it stays in the perfect position. And when it goes back up, it stays in that position. So next time you reach, you don't even have, to, it doesn't even have to slide past your seat belt. It simply stays in the right position and you buckle in. That's it. Now this next one is not unique to this BMW, but if you have your mirror switch uh, pointed to the left, so to the driver's side, and you put your car in reverse, your mirror will dip down so you can see the curb a lot better, uh, which is very helpful if you're parking in the city or just parallel parking in general. Another item that may not be unique to the BMW Z4 or even BMWs, but is very useful and not a lot of people know about, is that you have a, a physical key within your key fob. Uh, you might think, why would I ever need this? Well, if you valet your car and you want to lock your valuables in the car, you know, you, you lock your glove box compartment, take the physical key with you, and they're never going to be able to get in there just with the key fob that they're going to need to drive the car. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you learned something about your BMW Z4. If you have, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.